Hi and welcome back. Um, I am now about to to uh, put together my uh, my red velvet cake, the um, the cream cheese frosting I am about to make, and uh, the cream cheese frosting has a uh, an ingredient measurement as um, it's like eight ounces of eight ounces of cream cheese, which is one of these packets to one stick of butter which is a, a, a quarter or a half cup a half a cup so that's the and then four four cups of of confectionery sugar so it's four cups of confectionery sugar one eight ounce pack of cream cheese and one stick of butter and that's your that's your basic measurement if you want to if you're doing if you want a lot or if you're doing more than one cake, depending on how big your cake is, you just double or triple that amount. But what I'll advise is that if you do, you double the amount and see how much, then see how much you will need, how much more you will need, and then you can maybe make a second batch. But uh, right now, I am doing a double. I've doubled the amount, and I have it in my uh, my mixer, and we're gonna. We're going to let that rip and then I'm going to start adding my uh, confectionery sugar, which I, I have to add, I think, um, about eight, eight or ten cups of confectionery sugar to the amount of cream cheese that I have in there because um, I want to do my layers. I want to get my, thick, my layers a little thick and, um, and then I have to do the top, the cover, the top and the sides. So if I need more, well, then I'll just go and I'll do another batch of... Uh, of, of uh, frosting so right now we're going to get the mixer going and we'll get our frosting on right now we're working with uh, three three eighths 24 ounces of, of cream cheese along with um, Two and uh, half and three sticks of butter. And you know, three sticks of butter. So that's what we have in here. And um, this is gonna go uh, for maybe about until it gets really smooth and fluffy. And then before we start adding the the, the, uh, the confectionery sugar. So I'm gonna crank it up to a little higher heat, a little higher speed, and um, just let it work, work itself here maybe for another. Uh, 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 10, you know, 10 minutes or so. I will see how it comes. But it's doing pretty good. And, uh, and everything has to be at room temperature. Room temperature for everything. So it works better like that. And it, um, it incorporates better. And it's quicker. Nothing has to uh, thaw while it's working. So, um, so you now it's looking good already. So. Okay, so uh, maybe in about uh, three or four minutes or five minutes, we'll be back to, uh, to show you how fluffy it is and to start adding my confectionery sugar. And then we have, with the confectionery sugar, I also have to add some vanilla into here. You can do vanilla and um, if you have coconut, you can do coconut. It all depends on what type of frosting you're looking for. But right now, I'm just going to add some plain vanilla and, um, and let it... Uh, and mix in my sugar once I add, add my vanilla in a couple of, in a couple of minutes. Now you can see after about five minutes, it is nice and fluffy and it's working well. Uh, you have a very nice fluffy consistency here. That's wonderful. So now we we'll start adding the confectionery sugar a little bit at a time, and every time you add some of it, well, I will need about eight or eight or ten cups. So um, I'll just start by. <clears throat> I 
minus one. <clears throat> I work this in my first one, first cup. I don't want to make a mess. You go at a very slow pace. And let it work itself in. I have to get one of those uh, mixers with a with the guard on here. Once it has a guard, it doesn't spill over and make a mess. The flower. Anyway, <clears throat> we're gonna work this in for a minute or so, and then we continue. We put another cup in there, and we continue to do that until it's all worked in, until it's all incorporated, and we have uh, a very, um, a very nice fluffy um, cream cheese across me. So I'll be, I'll be back. That's nice and creamy after about uh, five cups of sugar. But I still have another uh, uh, three, three cups to go in there, so uh, we're still working. I just added my last cup of sugar and I pumped up the speed a little bit. So it can mix right in with everything else, and also um, uh, it's nice and fluffy. So what I'm going to do when I'm done here, once it's finished, and I think it's, uh, it's, re it's well incorporated, I'll stick this into the refrigerator and let it chill for a while before I put it on the cakes. And my cakes are, all, are also in the refrigerator, so they'll be cold, and the, uh, the frosting will be cold. So you wouldn't have a runny uh, consistency going. So everything would be a little chill, and it is easy. It's easier to work. With. So until I get my cakes and uh, and we get everything uh, chilled and ready to go, I'll be back. Okay, <clears throat> as we continue, I started. I have a, the first layer because I had uh, to cut my cakes in, uh, in, in, in three. I made the whole cakes and then I sliced them in the down the middle and one I didn't slice but there's one I had to slice. I sliced it down the middle uh, into, in order to get two parts um, so that I can I can build it the um, and build the frosting in between. So um, in order to get your um, your cakes from sliding off the board or anything like that you just wet a couple of paper towels and just put it under there and it will stop it from sliding now also when you're um, when you're using the spatula with the frosting and it starts to stick to the uh, to the cake you have to have a, a, a jug of cold uh, not cold warm water so that you can duck the um, you duck it in, you duck your spatula in, and you can continue, and it would be a smooth, a smooth um, application. So, whenever you see that's happening, you just need to get some warm water and uh, and duck, just duck the uh, spatula in there, and you'll get a smooth, smooth application, smooth application of your, um, of your frosting so so I'm going all the way around on the bottom this is the first layer this is the first layer this is the first layer and we're gonna smooth this off All around let that let that glide all around there and and become a smooth application some parts well I'm not a, I'm not a, a 
I'm not a professional at this. This is a this is a novice job really uh, that I'm doing here. I'm just trying to help a friend out, and uh, that asked me to be, make her a red velvet cake. So, uh, and she wants it frosted. So, I'm doing my best. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Using all the tips that I have received, all the tips I have received online and from on the phone, I'm using all those tips. Now, this is well cut. This is covered, and um, this is the first layer. The first layer is covered, so I'm going to put the second layer on there, and then we're going to apply another another set of frosting to cover the second layer so here yeah, guys I'm on the second layer and uh, we're doing pretty good just have some crumbling problems a little crumbling problems which we'll fix with the uh, with the frosting yeah, no problem. Just keep uh, keep doing what we're doing. And this is part of the decoration of the cake anyway, so usually put like uh, crumbs, the red velvet crumbs all over it. So all this stuff doesn't really matter. You know? Just need to level it off a little. Here is a little high, so a little more frosting on this side.
contest here. That looks pretty good so far, right? Um, we'll see if we need to put a third layer on there. Um, I'll just I'll test it out and then I'll let you know. Um, I have enough frosting, so maybe a third layer would be good. All right. Okay, guys, it was uh, it was an experience, but I was able to wrap it all around. And, um, and get it all frosted. The all in the entire three, uh, three, three um, tiers. No, no, not tiers. Three layers, I should say. And uh, I wasn't able to get it all. Get them all. Uh, so great. Just have to figure out. We're gonna write a happy birthday thing on here, and uh, and get it done. So, so that's it. The the red velvet cake, frosted. Now, you can write whatever you want on there, or put whatever decorations you want in there. But first, I, you need to stick this in the stick this in the refrigerator for at least another uh, hour or so before you take it to the person who you're taking it to. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna just stick it in the refrigerator. When it comes out um, t uh, tomorrow, I will uh, I'll leave it in there for about for overnight. And when I take it out tomorrow, then I'll write my happy birthday thing on there. And then uh, and we'll take it from there. And then we'll take it, well, obviously, I take it to the birthday, birthday girl. So thanks again for watching and um, like share subscribe let me know uh any comments you have i'll you know i'll gladly uh take tips because i'm a novice at this i i've never done well i've done it before but i've never done it on screen on on camera before um but i love to know what i can do and what i can do what i can do better what i'm not supposed to do with it. so give me a heads up and we'll go from there thanks for watching and be well. So here we go, guys. This is the red velvet cake that I made from scratch. Then I was frosting. I did the frosting for you guys. And then I did, I did a decoration, um, which I feel is pretty, pretty decent. I'm not a professional at decorating cakes, but... Um, for my friend's birthday, I just decided I, I had to do something. And I think it's uh, pretty decent uh, for uh, a second timer um, that I, uh, I'm doing this decoration stuff. But um, all it, anyway, so uh, I hope you like this recipe. I hope you like this video. And I will be doing more cakes. I'm, Check out my pound cake recipe. I have a wonderful pound cake recipe at Chris's Caribbean Delights. And I hope you will try those recipes and also try this uh, uh, red velvet cake recipe. Um, decorating the cake, uh, some frosting and some, some, some uh, nipples or whatever you call them. You know, you can <laughs> probably research that to do that, to do the decorating. But um, as I get uh, more um, verse in this thing I'll be doing some videos and everything so like share subscribe and I thank you for watching God bless